Our next Hall of Famer tonight, Mark Haynes, football, 1979. Mark Haynes was a first team All-American by the Associated Press as a senior in 1979. First team all Big 8 performer as a senior as well. He was also the recipient of the Zach Jordan Award as CU's most valuable player. First round draft choice by the New York Giants in the 1980 NFL Draft. It was the fourth highest to CU player had ever been selected at the time. Still the fifth on the list some 36 years later. He played in 127 career NFL games with the New York Giants and the Denver Broncos. He had 17 career interceptions in the NFL. Selected as an NFL All-Pro four times. Played the Pro Bowl three times. He also appeared in three Super Bowls with the Broncos. And now he's a Hall of Famer here at the University of Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Haynes. Thank you. Yeah, these lights are bright. First, let me say that I'm truly humbled uh, by this honor tonight. I would like to acknowledge the following individuals. President Bruce Benson, Rick George, Dave Platty. Dave Platty and I were students up here uh, in the early, late 70s. And uh, it's amazing that he is still up here. <laughs> Fortunately or unfortunately. Uh, Coach McIntyre, as well as friends of the CU community. I've been asked more than a few times during my college career, why did I pick the University of Colorado to play football and get an education? My response was always the same. Uh, impressed with the coach, uh, which was Coach Mallory. And also the guy that recruited me was a guy by the name of Mylon Vulatic. Uh, encouraged by the uh, CU team, and I anticipated a quality education, which was my ultimate goal. And of course, the view of the Rockies, uh, you, you can't beat that. Now I'm going to go off script. Not too far from here is where I first ran into a young lady walking to class. She was a freshman, I was a sophomore. As we passed, she didn't speak. So I said, hmm. So the next time, uh, I asked one of my friends, uh, who was that? So he told me her name. So I said, I kept an eye out for her for, for about a year. So we were at football practice one day and I gave her a cat call, she responded. <laughs> so I said, okay. So then um, I asked her out, we went out, and uh, 35, 36 years later, we're still married. Uh, we have uh, two uh, beautiful daughters. And uh, Victoria, would you please stand up? I, you know, I, I tell you, I would be in, I would be in trouble uh, if she wasn't uh, in my corner. Uh, two young adult daughters, Iman and Jasmine, would you guys uh, please stand? Thank you. My high school football coach is here, believe it or not. Coach Rates and Betty Rates, would you guys please stand? Thank you. Back then, we had what we call uh, buff parents. And uh, they are here also. Uh, Namon Lewis and Bert Lewis, please stand. Thank you. And a uh, brother from another mother, Mike Earl Davis, is here. Please stand up, Earl. Stan Brock and I, of course, uh, we have the same type of teammates. Would all those teammates stand again? Please.
Some of these guys I haven't seen since uh, we graduated from here. All in all, it's, it's a, uh, truly a great honor. And uh, I'd like to get off this stage and let someone else get up here. Thanks. <laughs>